Hello dear patients, today we are going to review the case of vaginal syphilis. Syphilis in its initial stage affects the organ where it invades to. I will remind you that treponema pallidum, the causative agent of syphilis, cannot get through undamaged skin. The thing is that during sexual contacts, micro cracks of skin are characteristic. We don't notice them, this doesn't mean that there would be pain and this gives an opportunity for treponema pallidum, the causative agent of syphilis, to invade into the skin, into the skin of mucous membrane, etc. A woman came to us. On the right side, on her labia majus, a little ulcer developed. It was relatively dense. She did not present any other complaints. About 38 days ago, she had a casual sexual contact without a condom. So she came to us with this chief complaint. After watching different videos and reading different info on the internet, she did blood analysis for syphilis and hepatitis before coming to us. It was negative. She got the result and came to us on the next day. It's no doubt that in 30-40 days the reaction to syphilis is negative in most people. So the patients have to understand that the first reaction appears positive in approximately 50-60 days, sometimes later, depending on what is the reaction and in what laboratory it was done. Nowadays this is very important. Secondly, there is a very simple method of differentiating syphilis. This is a laboratory method of smear from the surface of rash. In this woman, treponema pallidum, the causative agent of syphilis, was found in smear test from the surface of rash. It's very important not to lubricate, not to treat such rashes with anything. There were cases when the treatment was done even by diclovis. I am afraid that you can't prevent syphilis this way, even if you use antibiotic ointment, but you can spoil the analysis this way. So, in this case, using a smear method, treponema pallidum was found. What were the clinical findings? There was an ulcer that was a little dense, that is, during palpation of this ulcer there was a small infiltrate. I would say that this more was more of an erosion. Secondly, no lymph nodes were found and there was no general reaction like high temperature or rashes anywhere else. By the way, the smear test from vagina for the main sexually transmitted infections was negative. So what do we need to know and to consider? If you have any rash, from the surface of which we can take the causative agent, then the analysis should be taken. In this case, it's mandatory to take tests for different causative agents, such as herpes viruses, syphilis, culture tests for bacteria is also necessary, etc. This allows differentiating syphilis from other diseases, such as different types of herpes, streptococcal, impetigo, etc. These are the diseases with which the differential diagnostics of syphilis is done. Earlier it was only possible to observe treponema pallidum in dark field. This is quite a difficult method for the modern world, as today nobody even looks through the microscope. This method is very much dependent on qualification of laboratory worker who is observing, as well as on whether or not the person used lubrications. PCR method from the surface of rashes works much better in these cases. So we need to understand that on early stages this method is the most effective and on early stages, like the ones we had in this case, in this woman after treatment, only total antibodies appeared and treponema pallidum hemagglutination test in the most insignificant titus. So we have prevented the development of such reactions as Wasserman reaction with its modification of rapid plasma gain, etc. Apart from that, if syphilis is treated in its early stages, then the treatment takes significantly less time. So in case of any suspicions on such diseases, regardless of how much you trust your partner, it's necessary to consult the neurologists and to do relevant analysis. If it's necessary to do such analysis and to be examined by the doctor, you can consult our paid medical center of dermatic neurologic dispenser in Moscow. We have experienced specialists who do diagnostics and treatment of such diseases. We are waiting for you in our clinic. <laughs>